and welcome to my tutorial on the piece Showstopper from the Grade 3 Trinity Syllabus 2016 to 2019. Um, this is a lovely piece and I hope you enjoy playing it along with me. Um, it's all in third position to start off with, so we're going to do a little exercise to get ourselves ready for third position. So um, the basic way to think about it is it's where your third finger goes, third position. So you put your third finger down on the A string and you're just going to slide your first finger up into that position and it should be the note D. The easiest way to check it's in tune is to check it with your D string. And then you're in position. To be able to play in this position, you need to remember the finger spacing. So you've got first finger, second finger, third finger, all gaps, fourth finger is close together. The other thing to remember is the further that you get up the fingerboard, the narrower the gaps get, the closer your fingers will need to be together. To play a D major scale in third position, we're going to start on that third finger sticker, and we're going to do a lovely one, two, three, Four, and instead of doing an open string, you're going to go straight over here, one, two, three, four, to your E string. Let's try it together nice and slowly. Here we go. nicely in tune. You can also do rhythms to help you get it comfortable in this position, such as and such. Okay, and you can come up with any rhythms that you like, but it really helps to get comfortable playing in this position. Brilliant, now I think we're ready to tackle it. So I'm going to play the piece through and then I'll go through some of the sections where there might be some challenges. Here we go. We're going to count three at the beginning because there's three beats rest and we're in the lovely key of D major. Here we go. One, two, three. as I said, um, nice at the beginning, just mainly going between the A and the E strings. So as long as you're comfortable with those notes, it should be um, not too challenging. The rhythm, there's quite a lot of syncopation here when you've got the strong beat on the second beat of the bar. So you've got... Yes, that nice sort of kick off with a quaver off to the crotchet. Then in the next section leading into bar six, same thing again, quaver crotchet, quaver crotchet. Da -dum, ba -dum. Very, very nice. Um, again, same sort of movement. I really like that. It's a lovely run down, nice Gaelic passage, starting down from the fourth finger on the E string down to the first finger on the A. Making sure that when you're going from the first finger on the E, to the fourth finger on the A, that you're practicing getting your arm coming under ever so slightly just to allow for that support. Your little finger is your weakest finger, so give it as much support and help as you possibly can. So bringing your arm underneath is really gonna help that. If you watch again, it's coming under to allow and support that fourth finger moving across. Also, it's gonna make sure that it's better in tune if you do that as well. 
lovely that happens a few times so just practice that section um the main thing that happens then of course is we go back into first at bar 26 second fingers back for this section c naturals g naturals um, and then of course in, in the upbeat to bar 34 we're back into third Same rhythm again. I'm really strong at the end. Double forte, fortissimo. Make sure it's really, really strong at the end. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy and make it a real showstopper.